It's enough, man. Yes, it is some. It's enough. Don't concede. 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 Come on. Yes, we need this. We need to go in. And yes, mission accomplished. Yes. <laughs> the Ember Cleave on the Hunch. Oh. Sometimes when you're a genius like me, you have a plan that is so good I simply can't be stopped by mortal men We're talking of course But best combo right now is stand only in mod 3 cards and deals 20 damage, do you know which one it is? There you go Well! Of course It's Hans Embercleave Clown <laughs> That's my smart ass Thing that I could put on there. The, the big head. <laughs> what call it? I like that thing, anyways. And of course, doing the Haunch Embercleave Karn. Why are these three cards so good together? Well, for a couple of reasons. When you put down Karn, you can turn Great Haunch into a creature with power and toughness equal to its converted mana cost, which is nine. If you put on the Embercleave on the Haunch, which can then do, it will have 10 power, which means it will double strike for 20 damage. That's a one turn kill. That's pretty amazing. But how are we gonna get this off? Actually, this deck is super solid. This combo seems a little bit gimmick. You're not gonna get it off every time, but the, the deck is super solid. Rotten Regisaur is so good in this deck. It enables you to play Great Haunch for two, or it enables you to play the Ember Cleave very easily and kill your opponent because you can deal like 18 damage with Rotten Regisaur. The only problem I would say with this deck is that it's so easy to kill your opponent in other ways than the combo, that you're not gonna see the combo go off to... Oh, to you're not gonna see the combo go off too often, but when you do, it's glorious. It's pretty glorious. We have Sir Farron to buff a little bit. Knight of the Amalidium, which can buff himself to an insane amount, and also that makes the Haunch cheaper. Paradise Druid and Guild Goose for the manas. Lovestruck to just have a spare Rotten Ready Sword and Murder Strider to deal with all their pesky creatures. Let's just jump into the game. Here we have it. The first hand. Is that any good, you ask? Well... We have some complaints. It's double corn there. First complaint. The <laughs> first complaint of the day. The morning complaint. Let's get going. Uh, let's see here. We have double green. We do, do need double red in this. We don't need double black. So if we search for red with this, it should be pretty good. <laughs> it's like early afternoon, but still, still I'm a zombie inside. Inside my brains, there's only zombies. Pick up that mountain. Stray wizard. This guy we played against. This very much seems to be adventurous. Let's see here. Can I move this window? Slightly. Okay. Perfect. And the audio seems a little bit loud or... I don't know. It's perfect. It is perfect. It's maxed. <laughs> maxed volume is perfect. Okay, put this down. We could go for a next turn corn, actually. Because that way we could go Rotten Ready, so either we could go for the Ember Cleave, or we could go... I mean, Rotten Ready is so good uh, with these artifacts. It's good with Ember Cleave, and it's good with the Haunch. Such a nice card. No blocks. I do have to think about the fact that uh, he has a Plaxen intruded. <laughs> he could just kill our enchantments. He could do that. But then again, he could also not do that. Stray Wizard. Beanstalk Giant. Ooh. Ah, this is very much adventurous. Adventurous. Ooh, you're going down lower. 14. And then this guy. My news. The ha ha haunch? Or the Ember game? Nah. We start with the haunch. We start off with the haunch. The haunch. If he doesn't kill the Paradise Druid, we can put down... Yeah, we can put down uh, both, both the Rotten and the Great Haunch and the Thrashing Brontodon. If that's it, okay. Smacks the corn. Didn't like it one bit. Uh. Didn't like that one bit. Stray wizard. In trouble now, mister. Man, if we could... Our goal here is gonna be, of course, put down the Great Haunch, put down the Ember Cleave on the Great Haunch, and attack him for 20. Oh, can we get it off this game, maybe? Oh, I just kissed. God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> wow. Wow, wow, wow. Let's see here. Can I put down... Let's see here. If I put down this, I need two green. So, tap like this. Sure. Wink. 
Put down the haunch. Then if you put down the haunch and it kills Rotten Ready, sorry, also kills the haunch. No! Oh, we gotta do it anyways. We gotta do it anyways. It might not work out. He might just kill the Rotten Ready, sir. He might. But if it doesn't. Doesn't kill it. Oh, god damn you. You bastard. Oh, of course. Of course. Of course. Of course. He has to remove a left. Of course. Of course. Yes. Of course. Well, I uh, think the Flax Intruder is gonna suicide. Well, at least gonna get a two lives worth out of it. Before. Before we say goodbye. Okay. Gonna also put down the Bone Crusher. The Dream Crusher Giant. Is he? Is he though? Or he's gonna put down some uh, some adventure artifacts we can just throw him around and kill him. <laughs> it's a little bit of an expensive card to kill uh, artifacts and enchantments with when I think about it. A little bit expensive, but still, it's a creature. That is quite good. Okay, Beanstalk Giant. That's an other land. Wow, you have only a Beanstalk Giant deck? Oh, is it a Giant deck? I mean, kind of could be. Kind of could be. What was I? Well, put on this guy. Put my news again. Well, that plan didn't work out. I guess I'll try for the Ember Kill then. <laughs> and uh, no attacks. Stay on the blues. Stay on the blues. Oh no! Why do they always have this shit? Okay, okay. Well, well, Corn is gonna die. That's a pretty good top deck, <laughs> straight wizard. Really good top deck. It's pretty difficult to play artifacts and enchantments. It seems like, like the number of artifact and enchantment hate cards that they have is quite, uh, quite, quite amazing. So we could go in with the Knight of the Ebon Legion. So that's gonna make this cost one less. Yeah, let's go in with this guy. And see what it says. Let's just take it. Plan on dealing eight here. Okay, double block. Okay, then it will lie. <laughs> then it will lie. Then I can just buff it once and it will deal one to each and kill them both. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> you realize that wasn't super smart. Because then I can just buff it once. Okay. What's gonna do then, mister? Only the questing beast? He's calculating the mana, sir. How much mana is that? Or do I have something else in my hand? Or just that, okay. I'll buff you up. And put the hat on. Boom. <laughs> And some more damage. Oh, that felt good. <laughs> mm. It's a little bit dangerous. Knight of the Abolini with the Ember Game on it. Oh, but this is also... Oh, well, he's dead. He's dead, though. This has nothing. Nothing on the knight. Uh, yeah, I mean... You have the blocker, mister. We're going in for all that damage. All that damage. Yep. Uh... I'll kill you first. Schmink. Schmink. Boop. Boop. Boom. That's a lot of damage. Oh, and also as first. No, it does. Why did that even work? Oh, because. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the death. Yeah, death touch. That's why. <laughs> Got him. The Hatter. Are we gonna get the impossible off? That's my question to this deck. Or we're gonna get it off. Or we're gonna get it off. Hopefully. We're gonna get it off. Hopefully. The haunch in Yeah, we have to get it off. Oh, we have to! It's our mission. Our mission here in life is to get a haunch with an ember clip on it. That would be so glorious. Uh I guess we lead off with this then. Look at this. Wow, that's a lot of the Ebon Legends. 
Legion. If your name is Legion, let me know in the comment section. Also, <laughs> also can verify by reading your name. Legion. But if you're Ebon Legion, oh my god, <laughs> then I need your autograph also. Ebon Legion. What if you had an autograph from Ebon Legion? Wouldn't that be the coolest thing? Wouldn't that be about. Would have pretty much uh, reached the top of coolness that you can, uh, <laughs> you can reach in life. What is coolness, you ask? Well, I just invented it, so. <laughs> Not even, I don't even know. First rule of being cool. You are it. <laughs> Stop struggling. We're gonna try to get that hard shot. Okay, next turn, maybe. We get it. Finchmonk. <laughs> Why did you put down the one one, you ask? Uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> wasn't very smart. Now we can't attack him with it. Well, at least it prevents us from trying to kill him with this. Which would probably be easier. And that's good. Um. Main. Main, I want this down. I'm gonna put it down anyway. Gonna put it down anyways, even though it makes it so we can't go in there. That's fine. Because we have the horns now. And that, I'm very happy for. Very, very happy for that. Uh, no attacks. <laughs> Stay here. Stay for a while. And see what the hatter is up to. This is a spice deck. Oh, wait. It's Divine Visitation, Outlaw Merriman. Oh, he got it off. But luck uh, luckily for us, we have this. Our one of Brontanon. Our one of Brontanon. He has to be so sad right now. He gets off the combo, and then comes the ruiner of fun. Oh, wait, oh wait, we have we have more than enough of this. We need this guy to kill that divine investigation. Yes, can't have that. That would be way too dangerous. Way too dangerous. Okay, put you down. Wink. Put a counter on there. You down. Oh, we, we can. Oh, we can play these also. Why the hell not? <laughs> Aren't you going to attack in at some point? Soon! We just need the, a big army! <laughs> it's like when I played Age of Empires. I always had an agreement with the guys I played with. So like, we, we wait for a while and we build up an army and then we attack. <laughs> Completely ruining all the strategy in an RTS. No! He had two of them? That's pretty good, I guess. Uh, I don't think we can pay for all these Ebon Legions. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Well, at least we need to kill this. It's gonna spawn an angel, though. No? Oh, it's not gonna. Oh, it's not gonna spawn an angel. Luckily. Luckily, it's not gonna spawn an angel. Because else, we could never have gotten rid of uh, his tanks. Uh, so, let's see. We can go in with... This. And this, I guess. And this. Because we can buff whatever he doesn't block here. And this. Sure. <laughs> okay, blocks there. Blocks there. Oh, I'll pay them. Boom, 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 boom. He will get a 4 4 angel. That he will get. But that's probably. Oh, I could have done this also. To be able to attack him with this. <laughs> just... Just ignore this game if you're watching this and you're feeling like... I want to make a comment right now about the misplays. First of all, it's gonna be like a novel. It's gonna be like this long. So don't even try it. <laughs> and second of all... Let's see here. Uh, I made a few mistakes here. A few of them. Not too many. Wouldn't say I made too many mistakes, but... One or two. One or two mistakes. If you're uh, very observant, you might have spotted them. <laughs> uh, some damage coming in there, mister. Response! That's not what I thought you'd have. Okay. We're gonna take it. There's some damage here coming in. We can buff this up. We can almost kill him with this. Okay. He just takes it, okay. Or he takes it, he just <laughs> blocks. <laughs> and th this commenting. 
It's uh, it's ten out of ten. I feel like that's complete lies. <laughs> that's everything I said. <laughs> it's not blocking. What is blocking? <laughs> what if I made a commentary where I just said the opposite of what's happening on the board? Would <laughs> that be a little bit confusing? <laughs> We're playing against uh, Mono Black here, and I am playing Mono White. Everyone's <laughs> <was> like, no? <laughs> what is this? Uh, well, I think we just go in for the Smackahoon damage. And he just takes it. Gracefully. Gracefully on the receiving end of this damage. Man, we didn't get the combo off though. But soon, soon we're gonna get it off. Kina Aegis, man, we've had some battles with Kina Aegis. How many times have I faced up against this guy? Many. Many a time. Temple of Milady. Why isn't Temple of Milady blue white? Why isn't it? It would suit a million times better. Let's make it add black or green or blue or white. <laughs> That's a pretty good laugh. Just to make it the Azorius flavor. Or you could like. Take one damage to uh, produce blue or white. <laughs> so. Um. Yeah, well, we had the Murders Riders. What could possibly go wrong? Nothing, I think. This card is pretty good right now. It's good against Gruul. I mean, it's good against everything. Is there anything which doesn't run creatures or play? Ah, uh, it's not good against the uh, Esper Dance and Lance, I guess. I think we take that. You can never say. Say no to a goose and not cry a million tears because he said no to a goose! The most pristine and beautiful animal in the animal kingdom is the goose. What beautiful creature? Goose. Is it not cats, you say? Dogs? No. It's jeez! Jeez! <laughs> They're the most beautiful. Why are they so beautiful? I think it's the feet. They're very. Had like. <laughs> it's, the, it's the word I was searching for, of course. Uh, let's start with this. And find, maybe, a black source. Ooh, yeah, looking schmeck, yeah. Double black already. <laughs> I hope nobody invites me to come <laughs> on the MTG game for like pros or something. And I'm like, they're comp telling complete lies all the time. <laughs> I'm like, the, the adventure deck has a 50% 50% advantage versus the uh, the Jeskai fires deck. <laughs> I was like, no, that's a complete lie. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Oops, I meant... Uh, <laughs> I meant something, I don't know. I'm gonna use up that manas. Why did you do it in this order, Ask? That's a stupid order to do it in. Well... Well, because he doesn't know we have two of them. <laughs> so even if I mess up her, it's fine. But I should have done it with the green land first. This is the dingus order of <laughs> doing things in. <laughs> but still. Still, I go unpunished. I play like a dingus and I go unpunished. This is what that this channel should actually be called. A dingus just going unpunished. Okay. Taking my, my love struck beast. Maybe. Maybe. Yes. Hmm. Sure. Let's put down another Lovestruck Beast. That's gonna be a problem. This seems like Fire's Invention. Or is it? With Prism Ram now? What else would it be? What else would it be? There aren't too many other meta decks. Wink. This. Going for that damage. And the goose also. Smack it! Headbutt him. <laughs> How does a goose. How do G's fight even? You like twist your neck around the opponent's neck? Try to strangle them or something? Like uh, the beak or something? <laughs> Bite without teeth? <laughs> Just annoying when these guys fight each other. I don't think they can fight. Or can they? Have you seen a G's fight? Then let me know. <laughs> how, have you seen a goose kill another goose? Then I'm very interested in how that could even happen. <laughs> How is such a thing even possible? He's holding up all the mana, so I guess we go in first. Before we try to haunch him. I would love to try and haunch, but... You know how much I love the haunch. 
Okay, well, he's just checking it here. Seems like. Or does he play something in blockers? No, does not. I will try. <laughs> yeah, I will actually try. Man, you need the proper distance here. Absorb. Dovin's Vito. Man. <laughs> Already feel like conceding. It's gonna be a board sweeper. Hmm. Let's <laughs> see counters. I don't like counters spells. I used to like them. Like Force of Will is a great counter spell. It's a perfectly designed counter spell, in my opinion. Ugh. Ah, nah, nah, I, I don't feel like <laughs> This time we're gonna get it off <laughs> the haunch, the haunch, the cleaving haunch. We need to get it off. Run we'll right, save. Oh, let's, I mean, it has to be possible. You're not gonna get it off every game, I get that. But you know, once in a while, can't just get it off. <sighs> so sweet. Oh, it's so sweet. Why didn't you put down the goose, you ask? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. That would have been a million times better than what I did just now. Brains! <laughs> Again! Brains! Brains! <laughs> okay. Well, maybe it would work out anyways. At least I didn't take any damage. No, because I'm gonna play the love track beast token, so we're gonna take damage anyways. So it didn't do anything. But that's fine. No, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Maxi. Another Paradiso. Druidio. Mm hmm. Well, let's see here. How much mana is it? Ooh, we could play Nissa next turn, but that won't do it because we have most rotting and the murders and the Ember Cleave. I don't think he's gonna block. I would be surprised if he blocks with Paradise Druid. Oh, well, he oh, could block with Gilgus. I'm a dingus! <laughs> again? No, Brains! Again you do this! Brains? Brains, listen to me. I do everything correctly and you just screw it up. This looks like something I would put together. Oh, is, is it my deck? <laughs> is it my deck? Well, I guess a million people, other people could come up with this, but... I take a little bit of pride in also coming up with this myself. Uh, okay, so the Paradise Druid goes away. Unfortunately, I think uh, he's gonna meet a, uh, a quick and untimely demise here. It would have been sweet to uh, do some more steps here. 1-1, one, one, getting blooped. And the Rotten Regisaurus! Shmagahorus! The Schmack of Horus! <laughs> Add some damage. He's down to four. And we have an Amber Cleave. <laughs> now he needs to deal with the Amber Cleave or the Rotten Ready Sword. Or he needs to do something else. Uh, he can't activate this unless he has something. But I don't think he has something. Could have a. Uh, no. Probably has Planeswalker since he has this. Just concede. God damn it! The old good old cockapy. What's a cockapy ask? Well, I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know. Give this. It seems uh, sweet. We have the Sir Farron, the Hench Hammer, the Hamur, Hamur, the Hamur. Get you down. Get the blue, sir. The Knight of the Ebon Legion. Getting smacked though. Okay. I'm gonna take some, uh, some punishment here. Hmm, okay, well. We'll put this down. Next time we can put down the Rotten or we can put down Sir Farron. I think the Rotten is probably gonna be pretty good. Okay, take some damage. Oh, well, I think the Rotten is gonna be very, very good. This is gonna deal 16 damage. Man, the, the Ember Cleave Rotten Red is our. It is still strong. So strong. It's so strong. This does our Farron go here? I think he goes. Oh my freaking god. Can I even play both? 
Can I even play both? I think I can even play both. Yes, I can. <laughs> okay. Like, I play this. This will give me four manas. And I go in with... Oh, my freaking gonars! This is like a wet dream! No, it's not! Frack! It's not enough! <laughs> it's not a dingus! Oh, my dingus! I thought it was one more manas. It wasn't. Well, at least can heal with a haunch. <laughs> Frack. I thought I had it. Oh man, if I draw into Karn now. Draw into Karn, we might get off the combo for the first. Oh, it's knights. Giants and knights. Okay, goes in with that, sure. Take that two, uh, that one damage. And our done. We'll discard the Murder's Rider. I'll need that scrub card. Uh, let's see here. We go in the rotten. Now we have enough. Is it block with the worthy? Probably doesn't. Oh, <laughs> it just takes it. And it takes it. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Man! It's so easy to kill them with this deck. That's the problem with this deck. It's so easy. Our problem is we kill them before we get the combo off. <laughs> I've had that had a couple of times. It's like... The reason I didn't upload, I created a, uh, what's his name? It's like a swan, which creates uh, manas whenever you play, or it, it creates one ones and they can sack them for manas when you play a non-creature spell. But I realized that creature, it's easier to just kill them than going off with that and like go infinite manas. It's easier to just kill them than do that. Um, you go first. Ah, oh, yeah, that, that's gonna keep. That's gonna keep. The miladies. Double haunch. Well, with this much enchantment removal running around, maybe I should. Okay, the Dodger. Dodja-san! <laughs> this is known in Japan. It's known as Dodja-san. So, Dodja-san. Uh, do we now put down the Love Struck token? Let's see, how many green do we need? We need one red at least, so. Pick up the red. And. Or the Knight of the Avon Eden. I think we put down this. It's a little bit more difficult for the kill. A little bit. And he, you know, he has to pay with this, essentially. Else he's not the one who won't trade. And this is actually better, I feel like. Now this takes a long time frame. Get something going here. Good one one token there. Great. Oh, I could have just put... Why did I just put down a Love Struck Beast? That would have been a million times better, but I didn't. <laughs> I hope you're not watching this for the sick place. Well, I hope you're watching this for the sick place. Sick bad place. <laughs> okay. I can't go in with the other Kang, but then they both die. Oh, what? Oh, yes, please. <laughs> yes, please. I don't mind. I know I can't attack him with love turkeys, but that's not a problem. That's really not a problem. I'm fine playing a little bit of the long game here. Getting my, my actions. My action down. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the runaway. Just gonna try to run away with this game. Oh, we're so blocking here. So blocking. Okay. That's fine, mister. That's completely fine. I want to play the long game. I want to get... The combo off. Oh, that's a lot of lands, though. A lot of lands! <laughs> that's what I feel like when I know I don't get my combo off. <laughs> my combo! <laughs> Mom! I want to get my combo off. <laughs> Angry Swedish YouTuber. Plays MTG Arena. What? What? Are you going in there? I would be surprised if could did 4 damage with one spell there, so... Okay. Oh, we want the light of the stage. I see, I see. And then... Maybe we're dodging there. Okay. Yes! Hallelujah! 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 Well, we can kill pretty much whatever it goes in with there. And we can just murder this ride, draw a card. This is what we need. We need a game where it just slows down a little bit. That's exactly what we need. Robber of the Rich. 
Well, in that case... Well, it can resolve, I guess. That's fine. Can let it resolve. But before it goes into attackers, we're gonna murderously ride it. So that it doesn't get an extra card. Because that could be... Herbal for us. Absolutely herbal. And now we have pretty good looks. And we're gonna go and come in there. Oh, he does. I guess he has a buff spell. Uh, I don't care. I'm gonna block this guy. Embercleave? No. <laughs> that would have been Embercleave. That would have made me so sad. But luckily it wasn't. Okay. A Rimrock Noiters. Come on now. Not a land. Not another land, please. Anything but a land. Another land. Rack! <laughs> Rack! Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. That, that's a little lens. La lens. La lens. Wow, these. You really know. Well, it can buff with the Castle Embreath. I guess. Tilted Dodger seems pretty dead here, unless you drew your fourth Rimrock Knight. If you did it. Oof. Oof, oof, oof. Or did he draw a burn spell? He might have. You just tap this and turn. Let's stop there. Ooh, okay. Let's put you down. Huh? Tap this. My turn. Okay, come on now, goose. <laughs> Find something! Non land card! Da 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 Heck, dick! You need to learn to be reasonable, dick. Like. And how many lands you're doing? Okay, well, 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 well. Sure. At least we got one more creature in the deck. That's good. Have to be happy for the small things in life, okay? Block here. Get to life there. And snack on the food. Okay, we're down to nine. Come on now, deck! Non-land! Oh yes, that's kind of the best thing you can draw in this particular <laughs> situation. Perfect. So you can probably never kill it. Oh yes! Oh yes! We're mounting a comeback! We're mounting a comeback! Do I even pay life? Nah. I'm gonna be a little bit conservative here. We passed the turn. And now, I think we turned around. We just need corn now. Come on now, corn! And do the ember clear thing just once. If you can get it off once, that's enough for me. Because then I've at least seen it with my own eyes. And then I will be fine with this. Uh, he's in a little bit of trouble. It's gonna, it's gonna do him, Mister. Oh, he just doesn't do anything. That's perfect. Perfect. Okay, well, I can go in with one of these. One of these dudes. This guy. I'm seeing for a little bit of smackage. Oh, I'll buff him once. Do you buff him twice? Yeah, I think we'll buff him twice. Get eight, that's fine. That means we have lethal next time. And uh I'm just tapped. We could do this also. We can play it for two now. Just to gain a little bit more life. Yes. Man, if he has the Ember Shield Breaker, though, I'm gonna, gonna be so sad that I did that. Yeah, that's yeah, that's a bad idea. The thing I just did there, not super smart. Not super smart. Hmm. Okay. Neem oh, it doesn't have Ember Shield Breaker. No, no, no. It goes in though. Oh, block here. It's gonna have the action here. Buffs him up a little bit. Slightly. Well, go for this. Seems like we got this. Well, that's fine. I think we're gonna kill him next time with this. It's your bloody fan, Mr. It's fan. Oh, yes! Badoonk! Badoonk! Oh, 
Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Yes! 15 damage! I mean, sometimes it's pretty nice to draw lands when you find the... When you find the Knight of the Bone Legion. Constant Leon. Am I gonna be on about the combo? Hello, we... I was gonna say we might get the combo up here, but we might get the combo up here! <laughs> we might just get it off. We'll see. We're gonna try at least. Noit is down. Just need the uh, Paradiso. Man, it's, everything's just set up here. Everything just set up. We just need to. Don't. <laughs> we can't kill him too fast. He has to put up a little bit of resistance so we just don't roll over him and kill him. But he can't put up too much resistance because I'm a loose. That should be the perfect amount of resistance. <laughs> that he puts up. Can I just demand the perfect amount of resistance here, opponent? Would that be Than? Uh, put this down. Definitely. Hope it doesn't have the board sweeper. Hope it doesn't. Or do we draw into a green land? That also works. Man, last time we do like, almost exclusive lands. Now it's... No lands, but at least I could complain. <laughs> so I'm a little bit happy. I'm still a little bit happy about the situation. Does it allow me a complaint? Okay. Now for the Ebon Leaven. That is coiled. Sure. I don't think we need another Rotten. I don't think we're gonna be able to sustain two Rottings. Okay, I put down this. And let's see. This guy comes down. Cross card. Burp, burp. Ooh. A Paradise Druid. That would be perfect for a Karn. But he's probably gonna sweep her, isn't he? Isn't he gonna sweep her? He ah. gotta put it down. Anyway. Although I'm suspecting that a sweeper is incoming. That might be fine, honestly. Because we might then get off the combo. Might just allow us to get to the combo. If he sweeps her. Surely sweeping... Uh, some things. Okay, justice grab. Oh, we didn't. We did not. Well, that's actually perfect. Mm. Mm, that's perfect. We put down this. We find the ember key. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. The stars are aligning here. Now we, all we need is for him to not concede. How much damage was this? That was a lot of damage I just skipped out on. But it's fine. We're doing this for science. We also put down this. Nah, I think I save this. Because I want to discard a card. Oh, wait, like I can discard any card. That's fine. Put down this. Put the counter on. Okay, it's fine if you sweep. It's fine if you sweep. Because you can still do the combo. Still do the combo. Find some invention. What does he have? What does he have here? Are we gonna get off the combo? Are we gonna get off the combo? I mean, Karen, that's fine. You are still completely fine with this. Okay. So we're gonna resolve this. Gonna This corn goes away. Can we get off the haunch also? I don't, I don't think we can do it. I don't think we have enough mana. Oh, it is actually, it is enough, man. Yes, it is enough. It is enough. It is enough. Don't concede, don't concede, don't concede. Don't concede, don't concede, don't concede. Don't concede, don't concede, don't concede. Come on. Yes, we need this. We need to go in. And... Yes! Mission accomplished! Yes! <laughs> the Ember Cleave on the Hunch! Oh my god! And he didn't concede. Oh, man, how we fought for this, how we fought to finally put the Ember Keep on the haunch and 20 damage. We did it. We did it, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> I'll see you next. Mammy shout out. Mammy, mammy shout out. Thank you.
you everyone so much for watching. We're soon gonna see the list of members, but the, the, the names have been scrambled. They're not in the correct order because I've lost track of who got member first because everyone keeps changing the name. Anyways, here they are! <laughs> Blue Dragon, Adam Alexis, Magic Pistol Man, Simon Lauer, Rodney Cox, Herman M, The Soft Pillow, Snick, Shamanix, Spencer Ofsty, Alex Mikem, Nathaniel Nissen, Laser Set to Stun, Eric0234, Jeff Henry, Lean and Into It, Michael W, Pocky U, Matthias Pauli, Toplets Investments, Colonel1107, W Lutz978, P.E. Lebel, uh, Peter Gold, Sean Stevens, Gabriel Juvenal, Tandex, Wiza, Qdelate23, Wei, Mesomok1, Ye Old Basses, Dingo Scrub, Crew the Barbarian, Link is Weak, Rainbird2002, 4K Television, July Moonlight Stock, Drake Edge2000, Dave Steer, Jurassic Fart, The Swamp King, Rage Dot, Simple Human, Badass Human Hub, John Domian, Gesuzaki, Own77, Sam Williamson, Ellie Curtis, Noah VH, MC Homers, uh, Phasix, uh, Fumiaki Kinoshita, Across Ascending, JCap, Wookie Floran, Damn Drone, Steve Drabinski, Strange Brontides, Donkey Kong, Sky Surfer Zero, Tim Dutton, Jake Denley, Santa John, Steiner Bakken, The McDunking, Klo, Robacuna, Chase Closed, uh, John Lacava, III, Honza Kos, Jingai, uh, Michael Capito, Agony Reborn, Ramen Noodles for Me, Aaron Noble, Adam Alexis, Batsuma, Brandon Dobbs, Callistus Missile, Carlo Palumbo, Klau, uh, Coop Cooper, Coop the Grace, Dan Goodsell, uh, Davin Hanel, David Newman, DBK Drummer, Dingo Scrub, Dr. Jadron, Drew Styles, Eventum Tantum, Freeman Stephenson, Jeff Georger, Infinite Draw, Xavier Diaz, Kazon, Magneto, Mrs. and Mrs. Smith, Neo Terror, Ninja Long Gnome, Orango, Mango, Piotr Stalorsk, Pote, Prince Mokbakok, Esquire, Rainbow, Cake, Serge Karmarov, Super Noodle 7, Wonder Bread, and X Covenant X. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you for all your likes. Thank you for all the comments. Thank you for everything. <laughs> and see you next time. Also, thank you. The only bad show is on Patreon. You guys are amazing. And don't forget to subly, doubly, scribbly, timely.